There's always been a little bit of acrimony around India-Bangladesh games. I've never figured out why. I suspect it comes more from Bangladesh than from India. Maybe India have given them this little brother feeling. You never know why that happens. But it's a good point to pick up three of those games to remember, three unusual games. The first, of course, you're going back to the start of the World Cup 2011. Sehwag's not the most popular amongst any of our neighbours, not, uh, not in Bangladesh either, because he said what he felt. And then, of course, he went to Dhaka and the first ball went for four. What a start it was to the World Cup. He went on to make 175, India made 370. And even though Bangladesh fought back and they were already giving impression, the, the impression that they were going to be a very good side in the years to come, they were still well shot. And we didn't realise then, but it was to be the start of India's winning World Cup campaigns. So that's one game you always remember because of the personality, because of the result, because of the implication and all, all that happened thereafter. So that's one game I remember. The second game, and there is a reason I'm standing here because there's a few people not only involved in that 2011 game behind me, but also in that game-changing 2007 game in the World Cup in the West Indies. And when you look down that India side, it's a who's who of Indian cricket. Surely Bangladesh could not have won that one. Who did it for Bangladesh in that match and right through the tournament? And I mention it again because it was a turning point in Bangladesh history. And we saw the arrival of Tamim Iqbal, of Mushfiqur Rahim and of Shakib Ul Hassan. And 10 years later, they've served their country magnificently. But Bangladesh beating India, I mean, people took a long time to get over. And you still remember 17th March, Bangladesh beat India in a World Cup game. And that's something that the nation can be very, very proud of. And then there was a peculiar game. It came in June 2014. You don't normally get those kind of wickets in Bangladesh. India bat first, very decent side. You had Pujara, you had Suresh Raina. It was a, it was a good batting side, Rahane. And India knocked over for 105. What do Bangladesh do? They're 44 for two in the 11th over, seemingly going okay. Next six overs, they were bowled out. And Stuart Binney, six for four, still the best figures by an Indian in limited overs history. And it was just his kind of surface. Stuart Binney, much like his father, pitched the ball up, swung it around a little bit, and there was all that was required that day. So there you are, those were, those were the three games. Who knows? We might have a thriller on our cards yesterday. And next time when we do it, we might include this one.